Okay, so I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and in this video I'm going to be talking about AI infrastructure offers and how to build one that provides a, a very compelling sales argument because your offer is the forefront of everything else you do and if you're struggling with client acquisition it's probably because your offer sucks. So what I wanted to talk about in this video um, is how to build mechanisms that actually create a really good sales argument and more importantly how to yield asymmetrical leverage. Now if you were to ask me what is a good offer, this is what I would say. A good offer is essentially one that resonates with the market, that's really important. You need to understand your niche's pain points and say to them, look, I know your pain point, here's a solution to it. So that's the first thing, resonating. The second thing is having mechanisms in your offer that provide asymmetrical results. Now what do I mean by asymmetrical results? So within an actual offer, the core offer, you have mechanisms. Now mechanisms are what make up the offer. So it's very simple and most people's mechanisms suck. So what you need is mechanisms and I'll explain how to actually put really good mechanisms in your offer in a second, but mechanisms that need to yield asymmetrical results and asymmetrical results are ones in which for the time spent actually delivering your offer or your fulfillment, you're gonna get crazy results for your clients. So let me repeat that. Asymmetrical leverage is little time for great results. And I'm gonna give you some mechanisms. If you keep watching to the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what a good offer looks like and how to build your own. So let's get into this. Now, first of all, right, your offer, whether it's AI solutions, whether it's, um, I don't know, ads, it should purely be focused on your niche's problems. You shouldn't be providing what you want, but what the market wants. And most people don't do that. They get emotional. I mean, humans are very flawed. We are all very emotional creatures. So you basically need to remove emotion as much as possible and <laughs> just, yeah, actually do some research and create an avatar. I always recommend an avatar over a niche because a niche is quite vague. Whereas an avatar could be like specifically, I don't know, coaches who are 20 year old, uh, sorry, 20 to 30 year olds, um, they don't micromanage. So what you need to do is you need to list out the actual attributes and characteristic traits of your niche, go one step beneath the surface. And what that, what that will allow you to do is to have super clear vision when it comes to who you actually want to help. Now there's a massive plane flying over which is pissing me off a bit, but hopefully the value in this video is still tremendous. And now I'm actually going to talk about what a good offer looks like. So you've got your offer which should be able to be explained in a single sentence. So for example, I help coaches implement an AI growth funnel to add 20K to their MRR. That is a, how your offer should sound and you should be able to articulate it in a one sentence phrase for just for clarity purposes. And then within that offer, you're gonna have mechanisms. So for example, week one would be an SMS or email database reactivation. And that is an example of an asymmetrical um, like mechanism one that minimal time great results because if you think about it let's say your client has an email list of 1k people and phone numbers of 1k people of their like audience or whatever if 1.5 percent decide to buy from an sms and email campaign that takes like two hours to build and you just send it out for them and let's say it's a 500 dollar i don't know one-to-one -one fitness coaching program if you do the maths that's like 7.5k in added monthly recurring revenue for your client. So that is one mechanism. And to make a great offer, as I said, you need to have multiple mechanisms that don't take a lot of your time but can get great results. It's really that simple. And what you need to do is you need to lay out week by week what your offer is and what you do for the client. And then in your actual copy, so outreach or whatever you're trying to do to get clients, that your, your, your one sentence phrase would be the, the thing that translates into the copy because you're not selling the mechanisms. J just for full clarity purposes, you're not selling the mechanisms, you're selling the one sentence end result thing. The mechanisms just create that end result, if that makes sense. So that is essentially on a very simple fundamental core, how you build a great offer. But if you never know your niche and you never put, or you never get data from the market, then you're never going to be able to build a good offer because an offer is purely dependent on your niche. And yeah, but the, the four things that, cause yeah, let's just talk about copy now because I know a lot of you send emails or Instagram DMs or 
Twitter DMs or whatever you're trying to do for Outbound, because I know a lot of you are doing that, and I also recommend building a personal brand, which is very important. But when it translates to your copy, you need to make sure your offer is risk reversal, because humans absolutely hate risk. I promise you. I've, I honestly, I mean, I know why, just because it goes back to our evolutionary instincts where we always focus on the short term um, gratification over long term. So it makes sense. It's just in our DNA to not like risk. And that is why you need to have it in your offer. Risk reversal, massively important. Um, the second one is a fair call to action. So I see a lot of people when they start, they always like ask for a booked call literally on the first like message on Instagram and it's just never going to work. You need to provide value to the market. You don't get paid for your time, you get paid for the value you provide. Think, think, think about that. So always give, you get what you give essentially. So that's important. Um, you've also got a touch point. So when it comes to your copy, you need to have a touch point. So how you actually came across them because that's important. And then you finally need to disarm them because when you're sending a pitch, like let's say the one sentence offer that I just told you of, I partner with coaches to implement an AI growth funnel that adds 20K to their MRR or whatever your offer may be. What's gonna be going through their mind when they receive that is how expensive is it? I don't wanna lose money. So you need to just put that out there so they're not having these thoughts. And a great way to do that is put a PS, you don't get paid, or sorry, you don't pay unless you like the system or something like that. And it's much better to get people on a meeting and then maybe say that, I don't know, whatever, than to just not get any meetings in the first place. So it's better to go over the top when in risk reversal and over the top in the actual, yeah, copywriting to, and it sort of just links to the cognitive biases. Like, if you aren't, if, if you don't know the 25 cognitive biases, then you're just leaving so much goddamn money on the table because you're dealing with humans. And if you can understand humans and the psyche, then you'll be, you'll be crushing it because business is just relationships and just selling to people. So if you know people, you're going to be chilling, but hopefully you found this video valuable. If you did just like, and subscribe. And if you want me to personally help you with your offer, then just join the school group. It's literally like less than a meal out in London. So if you're not in there, I don't know what on earth you're doing because it'll probably go up soon. But yeah, join the school if you want just like a complete done for you funnel that you can then sell to your clients and it's actually gonna deliver great results because we've got AI setters, we've got, I think AI callers at this point. We've got a bunch of things we just give you for like ex insanely cheap so you can actually have an amazing offer then yeah, join the school. But nonetheless, I hope you have an amazing day and check out more of my content up here and I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe because you don't want to miss the future videos I'm going to post with more value and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.